All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the Mercedes, happens to be the ML350. I'm going to show you how to get into engineering mode. Uh, I like to put my car radio on audio. That way it just displays radio, CD, CD changer. If you have SAT, it'll show all that. So once you're on that screen by hitting audio, you press and hold down the OK button. Press and hold down the number 7 and then press and hold down the mute and it will take you there. So let's do that now. Once you're in engineering mode, you then have some options. First one is info and it shows you the software, hardware, model, the year that it was programmed and then you can go to tuna tuna will show you your signal strength of your uh, antenna whether or not your antenna is working the M diagnostics screen will show you device one which is the head unit shows you the model hardware software program date uh, device two by scrolling right is your CD changer hardware software diagnostics program date and uh, then you can go into config configuration shows your boot pattern boot version um, standalone which is you know off in 30 minutes when you turn on your car if you want it to be loud you can turn that on and off by hitting the 4. The EQ allows you to sh you know, s set what kind of EQ you want to have on by default. S the S-Test, self-test, shows you that the base unit is okay. Um, CD drive is okay. The navigation is okay. And you can do a hard unit or head unit reset by pushing number one navi reset by pushing number three head unit and navi reset by pushing number three <laughs> these uh error memory will show you all of the error codes that are in there and um it basically shows the errors that are in the radio debug or design verification allows you to check the display various keys the door so let's check the door so the door is working and it shows you the open code and close code And it'll continue to do that until you stop it. So we already know what door does. Palette basically shows the whole screen with patterns. I'll show you that. You can change the the way it looks for day night. You can set your default. Um, you can change all of that. Key will um, show you how to test all the keys. When you press a key, it'll show you whether or not the key is responding, just in case you had like a stuck key. Up, down, left, right, all of these numbers. display shows that the screen is good once you've uh, gone to the back button you have to reactivate it 
try to do this with one hand again. Okay, seven mute. Usually does it. Once you're in there, then you can look at your signal. Signal is for the uh, your CAN bus system. It's active, and you get these various statuses of one, meaning that these are functioning, and the voltage running through it is 12.15 volts.